What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com back again with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a campaign inside of Opesta. Now I know some people were excited about this video so I figured I'd make it uh, today and just kind of show you how you can do that and how you can actually input the button inside of ClickFunnels. So uh, let's get right into it. So when you log into your Opesta account you're going to go to campaigns and if you haven't gotten your Opesta account click the link below because you'll get a free account. Um, Opesta officially launches on March 12th, so they're giving special bonuses for people who sign up early, so you definitely want to sign up early. So when you get into Opesta, you want to go to uh, campaigns, and we're going to click add campaign, and this campaign is going to be a uh, button campaign, because what I want to do is I want to replace the button on my website that um, is connected to ManyChat, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to replace that button with a button in Opesta. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you're going to click add campaign and I'm going to say Jelani the marketer button and then I'm going to click create and that's going to create the campaign and now we got to create the sequence. So this is where you would set up the triggers like button uh, check boxes etc. So we're going to create a sequence and we're going to name this um, All right, and then that's going to bring us to the trigger. So this is where we have to select what we want that trigger to be. So we're going to click add trigger and we're going to click button trigger. Now you can see here that there's different triggers. There's comment triggers, checkbox triggers, tag triggers, keyword triggers, URL triggers, and I'll probably make a video for each one of these, but today we're going to be focusing on the button trigger. So I'm going to click button trigger and we could give it a name if we want. We don't have to, but we can say JTM main button all right so what this is going to do is going to send the message to messenger uh, we want the button style to be large that's fine we can choose a different background if we want it to be white or blue very similar to many chat um, and then we're going to go to submitted state you can either click on submitted state or go to next so we're going to go next and we want this to redirect to a url so we're going to say you can change the button text to say um you know thanks or view in messenger Or you can just say fix, right? Does it really have to be anything? But I'm going to keep view in Messenger. All right, so the URL that we want to direct, because in my case, I'm giving away a free cheat sheet or a free uh, affiliate marketing training, excuse me. So um, I'm going to take this URL here, so URL to open after submission. This is actually in main chat, but I'm going to just going to copy this so I don't have to do um extra work so we're going to go back here and we're going to paste that link so that's going to send them to the thank you page of the affiliate marketing training so they can just view the training there and we can select if we want to open it in a new tab or in the current tab um in the new tab is fine okay uh the button text is white the button background is red that's totally fine with me um you can change it by just selecting here and just you know toggling the different colors so let's save the trigger and let's go next so now this is where we want to authorize our website so you can see here that I have different websites here that are authorized so that means that these websites are white labeled and the code that they provide Opesta provides will be on there so you want to make sure that you add the website um, for your domain so it says up to 10 so let's just remove some I think I might have too many so let's just remove many chat um, that's fine that's fine that's fine okay so then what you want to do is scroll down here and you want to install the opesta pixel so this pixel is how opesta is able to track uh what action that person has done so if they um you know hit the button or not if they completed a goal or not and we can talk about goals in a second but you want to install this pixel so they tell you what to do so insert this code directly after the opening body tag on each page of your website so to do that what you want to do is you want to go to click funnels and um, in this case actually I'm going to go back really quickly and what I want to do is select the funnel so I'm in my website funnel and I want to go to settings here because I want this code to be on every single page. So I'm going to go to the funnel wide settings. So if you click this settings tab here, that's the funnel wide settings, meaning 
that if you put the code in the um, head tracking area or the body tracking area, wherever, it's going to go on each and every page within this funnel. So you can see here on Opesta it says, after the opening body tag on each page of your website. So we can come here and then we can just include that code inside the bo um, body tracking area, okay? And then all we have to do now is just scroll down here and click save and update settings. All right. Cool. Now all we have to do is embed this code onto the page where we want the button to appear. So if we go back to our funnel, so this should be saving here, and we click edit page. Give it a moment to uh, load. And we go to um, settings. I just wanna check my tracking code because I think I have many chats tracking code. If I'm not mistaken yet. So I'm probably going to delete this since I'm not using ManyChat in this scenario. And then what I want to do is you want to add a custom JavaScript slash HTML element. Okay, so if you don't know how to do that, all you have to do is click add new element. And then at the bottom, if you scroll down, you can see that it says custom JS and HTML. So once you add that, you want to edit it by clicking the little gear icon. Click open code editor and just include that code that Opesta provided. So boom, right there. Um, that's all we need to do. All right. So now, if we come back here really quickly, um, I select third party embed code. I feel like that works best. Um, and because it's a widget, then you know you would want it to appear. But if it doesn't work, we can also choose regular HTML and JavaScript. But for this purpose, primarily, it always works with third-party embed codes. But again, always test it to make sure that it works. So now what we're going to do, I think I have this um, on my page twice. So at the bottom here, I'm going to edit this as well. So I'm going to click the gear icon, open code editor, and paste it. All right, and now I'm going to click save. So now this, this should work. Um, I'm going to click save and close here. Um, so that should work, but we need to actually update the content. So if we go to content, so, um, let's just actually preview this first. So I'm going to exit out of here and then I'm going to click this little arrow here and that should allow us to preview our page. And we got to see if this button appears right here. So it does appear, however, it's not in the middle of, you know, um, this. So we probably have to do some styling. Um, I actually forgot there's a button on the pop-up as well. So to do this, all we have to do is go to edit page. And I am not a coder by any means, but I do know some things and I want to see if this will work. I'm not too sure if it will, but, you know, we can try to see if it will work. Um, so let's go back here really quickly and we're going to go edit. There's nothing in advance. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put center and then and that should work. So let's save this and then refresh this page. And if it doesn't work, that's fine. I mean, we just have to figure it out with the coding style. But boom, there we go. That's all we have to do to center it. And now it looks perfectly fine. So again, all I did to do that was just add the center um, CSS code. So it's very simple, just open bracket center and then you want to end it with a closed bracket center. All right. So now that's done, but I also have to do that on my pop-up. So let's actually just quickly copy this code. Come here. Copy. 
copy that. So I'm um, going to pop up, show pop up, edit this. Boom. Save. And then what we want to do is scroll down here as well and then center this as well. So quickly open this. Boom. Save. Okay, good. Now what we want to do is we want to go back to Opesta and we want to add content. So when that person clicks that button, they, they get redirected, but they also get a message sent to them. So um, what we can do is we can add a tag before the message. So we can say add tag clicked. And this is my little system that I created. So clicked underscore um, JTM affiliate training button. All right, and we could just make this lowercase. All right, click create. So when that person clicks that button, they're gonna be tagged and I want this to happen immediately. So we're gonna configure the delay settings. So this is gonna happen. Um, I don't want it to wait any day. So zero days, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, no delay, okay, there we go. All right, so confirm. Um, I should confirm. Let's click confirm again. Okay, immediately. There we go. Um, and then what we want to do is add a message. So we click message and then um, click on the message. And we can say something like, we can add delay because I always like to add delays. And then we could say, hey, first name. I actually might have something here. Okay, cool. I already have something here. So I'm just going to copy this really quickly, click edit, since we don't have to re rewrite it. Um, but you get the point. So I'm just going to copy this, put this here. Um, and then kind of just quickly do this. All right, so you can see here that I actually have a... Um, a Zapier integration here and uh, if you get Opesta you can actually have a Zapier integration as well so um, it follows the same steps as if you didn't watch my Zapier how to connect many chat to active campaign um, video there's gonna be a link above but it follows the same steps so um, this is gonna be a user input and then what I would do here is I would add a tag so we can say um, email um, and then add an action and it's going to be a tag and the tag is going to be um, typed email for AFKS training okay and then boom um, you can also remove from sequence if no reply which is really cool um, that's really cool actually I like that a lot I didn't even know you can do that um, I'm learning new things as well with you guys. So they're going to enter their information. They're going to, you know, put their email address. So I'm going to make sure that this is an email. The reply type is going to be email. So they can only enter an email. And then after that, there's another delay. And then it says, awesome. Um, I'll be sending some information soon. Uh, if I can copy this. Perfect. All right. So another delay here and then text and then boom. So we gotta replace this, put first name here. All right, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we're done with that. So now that is saved. So when that person clicks on my button on my, on my website, they're gonna be sent that message or this, this, uh, this sequence here, okay? So that's all done. So now if we click preview, it will send us this message. Um, so if I click preview, it's going to send me this message. So I'm going to click preview. Um, so I'm going to click on my button here. And if I go to my Facebook account, and I look at my messages really quickly. Um, I should have something, but it's loading a little slow.
All right, perfect. So there doesn't seem to be a delay. Okay, there was a delay. Typing three seconds delay. Okay, perfect. All right, so you can see here that I did receive the message here, um, right here. So if I type my email address, right. Boom, right? Cool, so we know it's working because we tested it. So now what you wanna do is you wanna go back to um, here, all right? And I think this is it. Okay, yeah, so we want to turn this on and um, you know, you can wait like five minutes or something. So run on any day, um, minutes, five minutes, or maybe we can do it immediately, really, to be honest, no delay. Um, and we can confirm and then turn this on. And now if we go to goals, this is where it gets really cool. We can add a goal. So like, for example, if we want this person, so we can click select pixel. If we want this person to remo be removed from the sequence, only if they viewed the thank you page, which is my affiliate kickstart thank you page, then this is where the pixel goal will happen. Now, if they do reach that thank you page, then they will be, by default, they will be removed from this sequence. So this is important to note that if you set up a goal and that person meet, reach, uh, meets that goal, then they will be removed from the sequence by default, okay? So, um, if you have, for example, like a five day training sequence and on the fifth day they reach that fifth page, right? Then you can say, okay, they reached that fifth page. I want to set up a goal. So if they reach this fifth page, they're going to be removed from this sequence and then they're going to be added to the follow up sequence of the training, right? So you can do like something like, I don't know. Um, hey, first name, did you enjoy the five day training series? Um, would you want more? And then just interact with them more. So this is really cool and really powerful. Um, I probably won't set up a goal for this scenario. However, I will show you how to set it up. So you can just give it a name, just JTM, for example. Um, and then you can select the URL contains any of the following. So this is going to contain any of the following in that URL or URL equals a specific URL, right? And this has to match the URL verbatim. So for example, if I go to here um, and I go select this, uh, that's main chat, and I put this URL here, right? And I add an extra dash, right? But I go back to my main URL, it didn't have a dash. So what's gonna happen is it's not going to track. So you have to make sure that you put in the URL verbatim, don't add anything, don't miss anything, okay? So let's just say that I want them to reach this page. If they reach this page, then the, the, the sequence is done. And then all we have to do is scroll down here, add an action, and we can just add a tag or add a sequence so we can add them to an, another sequence if we have one set up already, or we can add a tag and then have that run the sequence, right? Um, so that's all you have to do for goals. And again, this is tracked based on the pixel that we added earlier inside of ClickFunnels on the funnel wide setting. So if I were to go out of here and we go back to the funnel wide settings, which we set up in earlier in this video, you can see here that this is the pixel. Okay. Or this is the pixel that we have to add. Uh, and that is how it's able to track the goals, okay? And then you can get more information here. You must have um, the a PESTA pixel installed on every page on your website to ensure the pixel will work correctly. And you can just click here, and then this will give you the pixel um, that we just added here, all right? So that's how you set up goals. It's really simple, but again, you wanna make sure that you follow this and make sure you don't add anything or miss anything for the URL. If you're doing URL equals, if, you, if you're doing URL contains, then that's a little more lenient. Um, but that is how you set up a button trigger. I hope this kind of gave you some insight on how to set that up. I'm really excited to start playing with goals and start adding different sequences and setting those up because I feel like uh, it's really powerful to do. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, leave a comment below. I am gonna be doing some giveaways soon, so definitely wanna leave some comments. Uh, I'm not sure what I wanna do yet, so I'm just thinking about it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe because I would love for you guys to see these fu uh, future videos on Apesta, on affiliate marketing and stuff like that. 
And last but not least, if you haven't got your Opesta account, click the link below because they are giving bonuses to people who sign up early. Um, so you want to make sure that you're in early before they fully launch, which is March 12th. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this kind of gave you some more insight. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.